What's up everybody? Today I'm fishing my favorite tailwater. I have skunked three times in a row last week. No content to provide you guys. This winter has been kicking my butt. So I came to my favorite tailwater even though I know there's like two feet of snow here. There was almost nowhere to park because it was just one lane plowed all the way through. Uh, I found a spot that was a little wide. I've hiked down. I've fished here in the past but never in the heart of winter. So uh, mine are the only boot prints you'll see today. Uh, nobody's gonna be coming down here midweek uh, to suffer through all this, but hopefully the fish are in there and hopefully they're biting today. All right, I'm gonna start out tie lining this. I've got a pretty large sexy waltz worm on the point just for a little weight. And then I've got a thread Frenchie up on the, the tag fly. I think, that, uh, I think that waltz worm is about a size 12. It's pretty big. So that's like a three and a half mil bead. This is good water, making contact pretty easy, easily. I can't quite reach all of it, so here comes the Indy. It was uh, 30 degrees at the car. And the water is 42.7. This is the warmest water I've fished all season. Mm, dude, that was a fish, 100%. Just didn't get a good hook set. Oh, baby. That's exciting. You can see the indicator just dart to the left. Definitely was a fish and not the bottom. It's very hard to see my cider in this glary backlight. It's uh, pretty difficult to move around in this deep snow, especially when I'm going over the, the vines because it's, it's like they're a little bit of a, a platform for them to, to collect snow on. So when you step on it, you sink a little deeper. There's a the fish. Oh. oh, darn it. <laughs> Got him on the bank on accident. All right, well, I made Kenneth. Actually hooked into one. Okay, I need to not lose my mind. Uh, there's one. Okay, sick. This one feels a little better. Feels a lot better. Oops. Guess I'm a little rusty. This one came up for the, the Frenchie. Sick. Oh no, I didn't. What am I looking at here? Yeah, he ate the bolt worm. Sick. Ugh. 
Okay, re rigged. Put the squirmy on the point and a bird's nest up on the dropper. It broke off because when I untangled, I accidentally left a, or put a wind knot basically above the point fly. And uh, broke right at that wind knot, so not surprised. One nice. got him on the squirmy. This one took the brooch or, or not, excuse me, the bird's nest. That's cool. It's cool to know that they're coming up for the, the tag fly, even in this colder weather. Bird's nest is a solid fly. I usually use it in the summer when the caddis are more active, but I don't know. It just has so much action in this tumultuous water. There's one. And let's go in the bird's nest. Oh no, it did. I got him on the squirm. Come on now. Let's get him unwrapped. Nice little fish. A 12, 13 incher. Looks like they're all kind of in the same part of this pool. They're all just kind of sitting where it comes, kind of narrows down. They've all been a little farther up.
try putting a uh, balanced leech on the point. Take the squirmy off. Okay, let's try this out. Got a red, red squirrel leech on there. That was the bottom. Access today is the challenge. Basically the road, all of the turnouts I would normally stop at, they're blocked by uh, the plowed snow. So I'm playing around here, moved up river, found another spot I could park. See if I can find any fishing through here. still have the uh, red balanced squirrel leech up on the, or at the point, and then up on the dropper I've got uh, a bird's nest still. Pretty nice day really. It's supposed to, it's supposed to be stormy tomorrow and the next all week, well for, for a while, yeah all weekend. So I have this little window, about two feet of snow on the ground. Definitely makes getting around tough. Hm. I thought I'd pick something up in here. This piece of water is usually very fishy. Sun is shining, it's about 40 degrees, which is really nice for a winter day. So that was the bottom. This tailwater just never disappoints for me. I've never had a bad day here. I mean, a bad day would maybe be, maybe, uh, you know, less than 10. <laughs> Meanwhile, got this guy on. Got this guy on the bird's nest. came up to the bird's nest. So I might move that down to the point fly and then put something up up in the tag. We'll see. Because right now this the leech is kind of in the zone. It's the one bouncing across the bottom here. And if they're skipping that to go up for the bird's nest, probably isn't what they're looking for. Now on the point, 
swapped out that that red leech for a I don't know how to describe it. It's a bird's nest, but I made it with kind of a caddis green dubbing instead of like a tan dubbing. Normal hairs here. I believe it's got some UV properties too, so I don't know. Let's see how we do here. Fear no rock. I always like to run my drifts right all the way up to the rock. One sweet. Huh. Came up for the classic. Cool. Interesting. I think I'm going to move the classic to the point. Put something else up on the, the tag. That, I'm not sure yet. Okay, we got the olive dinger, size 18 up on the, the <clears throat> up on the tag. And then I moved the bird's nest down to the point. Mm, it's the bottom. I haven't fished a dinger in a long time. Seems like the fish are liking subtle patterns. Oh, that was a good fish. I went a little deep. I dunked my cider a couple inches, try a different depth, and looked right into him. Had a couple head shakes, and he came right off. Heck. Yeah. This is a nice fish. Big sparse spots. They are really liking the bird's nest today. There's a pretty good olive hatch going. I decided to swap the olive dinger for a size 20 dark olive waltz worm. I went for, I mean, they're both olive colored, but I didn't have any dingers in small enough sizes to sort of match the size of the, what's hatching. So I thought I'd try that out. Oof, okay. Got that re-rigged because tangled up. Same exact flies. 
bird's nest on the point and the dark olive size 20 waltz worm up on the tag. Yeah, let's add a little weight to the system. Okay, got some more split shot on there. Ooh, that's a good fish. Whatever it is. Oh, come on. Yes. That was the change I needed to make. Oh, this is a good one. Where's my net? Come on. Ooh. Sucker. It's nice male in the bird's nest. Sick. 16. Yes. Yeah, baby. I'm saying that was the change I needed because I got deeper. I've run these flies through that spot several times, but I knew I just wasn't getting down. So you gotta have the weight to get down to where the fish are sometimes. That's for sure. That's awesome. And if I didn't mention it, that was on the bird's nest. It seems to be like the clear fly choice today. That's the other thing I did when I re-rigged was I added more tippet so I could get to the same depth without dunking my cider so that could have an effect too. And that fish kind of had like a, made you think it was a rock, you know? And you go and set and you're like, ah, oh, it doesn't move and then it suddenly moves a little bit later. You know, that's a good fish. What's up everybody? I hope winter has been treating you well. Fishing for me has been a struggle. I mean, I've been deep in the struggle bus. I have fished, I think, six times, and of those six times I skunked four or five of them. It's been a rough winter for me. I'm not sure what's different. I know we've had a lot of good weather this year, which is awesome. It's gonna mean a good spring and summer, hopefully, and maybe even fall. It should all translate all the way throughout the rest of the year. So I'm excited about all the snowfall we've been having, but it's been making the fishing tough. Even just getting to the river has been difficult. As you saw here, I mean, the road was plowed just a single lane all the way down to the end where I was able to find a little bit of a turnout where they turned the plows around, parked there, fished, and I couldn't really get everywhere. So I fished where I could get, and it was, it was pretty cool. I mean, I was very happy to find some fish, obviously, but just uh, getting up into the double digits again on some nice fish. Is super exciting. Uh, obviously today the, the bird's nest was the fly of choice. Uh, I'm not sure you know why. I mean the caddis might have been active in the water column. I'm not sure but they were definitely keyed in on that bird's nest. I, as you saw I swapped with other things and I would move the bird's nest up or down and they continue to choose the bird's nest no matter where it was on my rig. So clearly that was the one. Uh, if you need to pick up some of those they will be in the shop but on the note about flies in the shop I've made it so that my inventory is controlled. So basically before uh, if somebody placed an order and I didn't have them, I would tie them for that order specifically. Where now I am keeping track of my inventory and it's possible for me to sell out. So basically that makes me more sane. I'm not constantly chasing orders and trying to get them tied. I'll have blocks of time where I can tie. Uh, but in the meantime, what that means is I'm gonna be out of a stock of a lot of stuff until I can get on the vise and tie them up. I should have some bird's nests tied up for this video, uh, ready to go if you guys wanna pick some up or all the flies. I'm gonna try to get my bins full, but 
I'm leaving for Mexico next week. I'm gonna fish salt for the very first time. So no promises on getting my flies completely stocked back up. Uh, it's also been a crazy month. I mean, I got my beads back in stock for the most part. And you guys have already obliterated my stock. I still have a bunch, but it's just going like crazy. So if you guys haven't picked up any beads yet, be sure to jump over to driftstone.co, pick some up before they're gone, by the, because there's already a bunch of sizes and colors that are low or running out. So uh, again, thank you all. It's been amazing, but I need to work even harder, get my orders even bigger, and keep you guys going with these beads, because obviously I've struck a, a chord with these, I think. I hope you guys aren't getting too bad at cabin fever with all this snow just keeping us locked inside. It's been frustrating, and I'm feeling it. Like, I've been trying to get out to fish several times, and a lot of the roads to my rivers are all completely gross and not very safe to drive on, so I've been staying home and uh, just working in the shop. But uh, I hope you guys are getting out. Let me know down in the comments. Are you getting out? Are you getting onto any fish in this winter? Has it been better for you than it has for me? Because, man, it has been difficult. But. I hope when I get back from Mexico, I can return to having a cadence of videos that are gonna come out more commonly because I've been totally unreliable getting my videos out to you guys. So uh, again, thank you for being awesome, buying all the beads, buying all the flies. It's been amazing and I'm excited for the rest of this year. So thanks again, everybody. I'll see you on the water and Godspeed. Godspeed.